All right, everyone, welcome back to the third exercise in our nine exercise progression for fixing the chest cave. The third one here is rocking, forward, backward rocking just on your back. So we started with the rock back to restore lumbar flexion, to restore mobility in the spine. And then we taught your hamstrings how to turn on, taught your glutes how to turn on in a hip bridge activity. Those themselves are not gonna fix your chest cave. We're gonna have to get into squatting, but we're gonna gradually work up that way. I'm gonna give you nine exercises. You probably don't need to do all of them, but if you wanna cover all your bases, this, this nine exercise thing, you just keep running through it. It might take 10 minutes and you just kind of attack it from all different angles, right? So this next angle is, we're still gonna be on our back here, but we're gonna move around a little bit more. So I'm right here in this little seated, posi seated position. My fingers are forward on my toes. I'm not grabbing my toes, but they're forward on my toes. If I wanna make it really difficult, I can bring my feet and my knees closer together. <sighs> it's already hard, it's harder to breathe there. I feel my abs turn on already. So hopefully you can too. Cross your hands, that will really get you going. Okay, the idea here is we're taking that flexed position that we made down here, taking that mobility and learning how to maintain it under a little bit of load, right? So as I roll back, my body is trying to flatten out. What I need to do is keep my abs on so that that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna rock back. <sighs> yes, there we go, I felt it turn on. Two. Three. Four. Five. So this is really good for not just your low back area, also your upper back area. As long as you're not crunching too much, right? I'm emphasizing my crunch here to show you how I don't want you to do it. I want you to kind of have a nice gradual curve. <sighs> Generally, I don't say don't crunch. I like to say keep your hips tucked. That's usually a better way to go through it or to think about it and attack it. And now I've totally lost count. <sighs> 10, we'll say that's 11. I'm gonna kind of speed up, because this is how I might do it on my own. 14. 15. I'm gonna try not to talk now. 16. So when I talk, I breathe through my mouth. I'm trying to teach my body how to breathe through my nose. Now my voice is deeper, that's cool. Because uh, I've moved around some of the things that resonate, some of the structures that resonate in my body, in my thorax, in my chest cavities. Um, cool, so third exercise, rocking back and forth. Teaches us to keep the abs, keep that mobility, and move around a little bit. You'll feel the abs turn on a little bit more. If you feel a lot of the crunching abs, I kind of do. I feel like I probably needed to roll my hips back a little bit more and hold on to those outer lower abs. So again, you can kind of coach yourself, just like I'm doing to myself right now. You sit there and say, okay, this is what I'm supposed to feel. I got my outer lower abs and we're gonna hang on to those as we rock. That is exercise three, rocking on your back, forward and backward.